guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and today I've got a fun unboxing for you guys. So, you guys know I um, normally get the quarterly subscription service from the Fortune Cookie Soap Box, and they always g give you like kind of samples of what's coming up for their new seasonal collection, and I'm kind of behind, so I have got the spring collection here, and then I've got the new collection, which is going to be the summer collection. So, I don't remember what the themes were for these. I haven't really seen a lot of videos. So we're going to go ahead and get started and go ahead and unbox this one, which was spring and actually smells delightful. This one is Be Our Guest 2017 Spring Soapbox. So this, of course, is was themed when Beauty and the Beast came out. And again, this is what it looks like. It's got all these like really pretty colors. Um, really, really cool stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just go into it, get started, and see what they put in this spring collection. Okay, guys, so this is the first thing I see. This is a really cute little, to me it looks like a mini bath bomb, but this says it's a happily ever after toner tablet. Is your skin feeling happy? This toner tablet is gentle and kind to even the most troubled skin types. Bergamot, essential oil, sweet mandarin, and tangy grapefruit will deliver a dose of the very best scents and skincare ingredients. Add this to your daily skincare routine. So it's kind of cool. I've never seen anything like that, and I don't know how to use this really, because again, it just seems like a bath bomb. But it smells really nice. Like, I smell the citrus and the orange in it. So that's really cool in the grapefruit. So that's kind of a neat little interesting new thing I have not seen. Next up is a little baby candle. And it says Lumiere, which is the candlestick in the movie. It says... Ma chérie, fortune freak, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome this product back to the soapbox. Illuminate your home with scents of fresh blackberries, tart apples, and magnolia petals sprinkled with sugar crystals. I definitely think that it's got some like, like floral to it and sugary, like it smells sweet. I don't get a ton of, maybe a little bit of the blackberry, but that's cool. I've never seen a candle in the box before. And then next up is this tiny little lip tint. It comes in this really baby sample. It's called Beauty. And it's, ooh, it's a little red uh, lip tint. So let me put a swatch there so you can see. Obviously, it's not going to be a heavy tint. It's just a light tint, but it is a rosy variety. Ooh, and it smells delicious. It says, this lip tint is named Beauty. Its look and flavor has got no parallel sweet tangy and creamy vanilla with a very subtle berry tint which makes it a perfect for daily use. That smells amazing. That is a really pretty scent. Next up we have a little spray. It says Tame the Beast. It's a detangler spray. So that's actually really really cute. I'm just gonna spray it on my hand just to like get a sense of the smell. Oh it's, it's nice. It's kind of like it's like a light floral and again this is the um, detangler and it says it will tame even the most untamable hair the black cherries rich patchouli and warm sandalwood scents in this detangler will leave your hair touchably soft and smooth I really smell out of all of that I smell the sandalwood and it's actually really nice like it almost reminds me of like a summery beach smell so it's actually so far I'm actually impressed with the scents normally I'm kind of skeptical or I feel like the scents are like overpowering or they're not my favorite but this is really exciting okay so next up we have this looks like perfume oil and it says there's something sweet which is one of the songs, or a line in one of the songs, and it says, Who would have guessed these scents would come together on their own? Enchant your senses with the smell of delicate rice flower blossoms dripping with spring rain. So we'll do a little scent. Ooh, it does smell like spring rain. Like, it's a very light, um, very, very beautiful scent. It's, it's definitely like a, a nature-y scent, like a, a very fresh, very clean, like fresh, clean, like grass or like, oh my gosh, like that is unique. I am really impressed with this box. I'll be honest, like I've been thinking about canceling the subscription just because I haven't been loving the scents, but this box is actually really killing it. So here we go. Their typical OCD hand sanitizer is called Magic Mirror, and it looks like there's like silver um, sparkles in here. 
and this says lock those germs away forever and leave them with only a magic mirror to reflect the outside world that is full of succulent peach fresh watermelon and honeyed neroli and it smells pretty darn good so let's give it a sample a little bit goes a long way this stuff normally the OCD hand sanitizers normally are pretty strong It definitely smell like the orange and the neroli, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite one. Okay, still more stuff. We have our traditional fortune cookie soap. Oh, and it's so pretty. It has a little rose on it. How cute. This says, learn to love this FCS and the FCS will return the love to break the spell. The delicate rose petals, soft violets against a woody vanilla backdrop. It's definitely a deeper scent, but I do smell the rose in it. It's kind of a cool scent. It's very unique, very different. And then last but not least, one of my favorite things that they make is whipped cream body butter. I mean, this stuff is delicious um, depending on what scent you get. And this one says bonjour. And this one says sparkling tea leaves with a zest of fresh lemon will have your skin ready to greet each day with a bonjour. And it's like a light green kind of consistency. All right, let's do it over here where I haven't put anything yet. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I wish I did. I don't. It's weird. It's like a minty lemon, which the tea leaves, I think it's the tea leaves and lemon. The, it's a strange combination. So ah, I don't really like that one. And that's too bad because I always want to love the whipped creams. But I will say the detangler the perfume oil, the lip balm, and the toner tablet, which again, that's, that's a weird thing. I got to figure out what, how, to, how to use that. Those were really good. So I feel like overall, like I did like a lot of the scents. And like I said, in the past few boxes, I haven't been loving most of the scents. So this one was a really good one. Their spring collection was pretty nice. So that was Be Our Guest, the spring collection. We are now going to move on in to the summer box. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, you guys, it's a pirate's life. A pirate's life for me. Oh my gosh, this could not be any more perfect. You guys, I love pirate stuff. I love pirate themes. You guys know I'm obsessed. Like, I just bought the whole Lorac, like, Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I was thinking about quitting, but now I don't think I can because they have redeemed themselves. So let's hope this is a good box. Okay. So A Pirate's Life for me, and again, it tells you what everything is in there. So we will read that as we go along. They have a little pieces of eight token in there. How cool. It's got a treasure chest on the back and a little, um, little uh, skull with crossbones and swords. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So then, let's see. FCS of the month. I guess that's um, an advertisement for another line that they have. And I don't know. Okay. So, oh, let's, I'm so excited. Let's get started. Um, let's start out with the fortune cookie soap. It says, bring me that horizon. Okay. So it's kind of like this, um, like, I guess yellowy part. And then it's got like a blue part. It's got some glitter on it as well. Let's see. Heave to and sail onward towards the beauty that dances and sparkles across the sea, letting the scents of sweet cactus pear, desert ghost flower, water lilies, and top notes of sea mist warm sands allow you to drift out to the sunset. To be honest, it's hard for me to like get a lot of that. I really don't, um, I just really don't see that. And then it has a little saying on it. It says, I regret nothing ever. I don't know if that's a line from the movie or not. I can't remember at this point, but interesting. Okay, so moving on. Aqua de Vida, oil facial cleanser. Ooh, this is interesting because it's got some, like, stuff in it. Like, let me show you the packaging. Very dark and, and um, like the movie is. So I guess you have to shake this up. And we'll go ahead and see. It's kind of like a blue water, so that's kind of cool. So facial cleanser. Interesting. Ooh. That is weird. 
Okay, it says, it does your face look like it's seen the fountain of youth? Well, maybe not yet, but after one sample wash with this facial cleansing oil, it, it will. Sweet coconut spiced rum will wash away the years and leave your skin glowing. It's definitely got some interesting, like, notes in there. I guess I can get the spiciness to it. That's... That's going to be fun. I don't know. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. We'll have to see. Okay, next up we have a shimmer perfume. And again, it looks like there's some, like, blue shimmer in there. you might got to shake it up. Okay, and again, it turns, like, a nice, like, woo, really cool, like, color. Um, this is Mermaid's Tears, which, again, a mermaid was in one of the last movies. And this is a roller ball. So let me go up here. Ooh, this is interesting. This one has, let's see, your heart will be pierced by Cupid. You'll disdain all glittering gold. There's nothing that will console you. Save your Johnny Sailor bold. Transform into the beautiful mermaid that you are with the shimmering perfume oil that enchants the senses with scents of delicate sugar cane and morning dew across the lagoon. It's okay. It's a little bit different. Um, it's again these are very complex scents they're very hard to describe now here we go this is the OCD hand sanitizer this says walk the plank this one says bind those germs and send them down to Davy Jones's locker make those germs walk the plank with the scents of oak aged bourbon fresh grown Caribbean sugarcane sparkling pomelo and dried tobacco sprinkled with mandarin, mandarin zest and then it says, and a yo ho ho. So this is cool. This has like a really weird, like murky look to it. A little bit of shimmer in there. Um, let's see what this is like. Ooh, it's definitely dark. <laughs> it's interesting. It's, it's, it's definitely like I can, I feel like I can smell the bourbon. It's like really strong bourbon, which is interesting. That is a very complex scent. I kind of like it, but I it's different. It's very, very unique. Okay, and then we have Exfoliating Body Wash, which is exciting. It's called the Black Pearl, which is Jack's ship. And here... Whoa! Sorry, dropped it. Let's open it up and, and take a whiff. Mmm. <laughs> it smells really weird. Let's see. This isn't just a soap to clean your body. This... What is exfoliating wash really is, is freedom from smelling like a dirty pirate. Liberate your skin from the curses with scents of fresh tropical pineapple, pink pepper, fresh Cuban tobacco, um, sensual suede, and light notes of peony jasmine. Restore it to its former glory of ruling the seven seas. You guys, it's, it's weird. I don't know if it's the pink pepper that makes it smell like really dark. But yeah, it's like got a spiciness to it. Mm, we'll see about that. I will try it, but I don't know. Okay, guys. Next up is a solid foot scrub, and it's called Calypso. Solid foot scrub. Release your feet from their human bonds and indulge yourself like the true goddess you are and bring together the nine cents of eight of the brethren court. Peach blossoms, juicy berries, precious floral hearts, sugary amber, vanilla musk, and ripe fig. It honestly is like a it's like a, a berry and fruity bomb, but it also has that musky vanilla, which makes it kind of like a darker, deeper scent. But I do like the idea, the concept of that, like a solid foot scrub. I definitely could use that. And then next up, we have a parlay, which is what they say when they want to be taken to the captain. It's a lip scrub, and it says, Invoke the right of pare, parlay, laid down by the pirates Morgan and Bartholomew, who clearly favor lime and coconut flavors, and negotiate a treaty with your lips, upholding your own ambitions of soft lips, unhindered by the harsh sea. They always do a good job of relating it back to the movie. This smells awesome, and look at that. That looks like an amazing lip scrub. And I definitely get the lime and coconut. So I am probably going to love that. That's really, really cool. And then last but not least, guys, this is always the, am I going to love it? Am I going to hate it? This is the Monkey Business Whipped Cream. I love their body butters, man. Let's, let's see. This is a nice, like, banana yellow. So let's see how it is. Mm, not impressed. 
let's see where do I not have something where it will like mess up the smell <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff all over okay I don't think I like it but let's see what it is um this one says monkey assist your skin through all sorts of trials and have a little fun moisturize even with the most stubborn skin and sense of zesty lemon pineapple and warm banana almond cake yeah it has a kind of cakey smell to it like cakey and banana but I don't like that like it needs to go one way or the other so I'm not I'm not really into that scent unfortunately a lot of these are really unique um, the lime the, the lime lip scrub is like my favorite I think the um, facial oil will be good and I think the mermaid's tears um, will be fun too I'm not sure about these other two these are like really dark very manly scented products um, but I love pirates. I'm so happy they did did a pirates. It, it, it's hard because those are again really unique scents. I actually liked more of the the um, be our guest line, the Beauty and the Beast. But guys, that's what we got for the last um, two seasons. I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to the subscription. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys got anything from any of these recent collections. And for A Pirate's Life, it will be coming out if it hasn't already been out on their, on their site. So I was really surprised by that. But thanks guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll chat there. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!